I lucked out. I honestly, honestly lucked out just now. So there is no not there are no nocturnal Pokemon. I'm not gonna find any flock of Zubat. So I'm just going to ride the bus for the next 30 plus minutes and try to catch things that way. It's now night time. I mean, there's still a little bit of daylight left, let's be honest. But there are no new spawns now that it's night, so. This is my Hail Mary at this point. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to be going outside the town, so hardly any pokey stops, but I have again start another lure like i said this is my last chance also yobos we the play for the bus works of youtube we the beat all that jazz this is video five of five so this is the last 30 minutes i have to catch any other kanto pokemon i don't already have with some exceptions being shinies and extra, extra large, extra small, but yeah, not much is gonna happen here. I'm probably gonna make a six video just to say what my results are. Maybe. We'll see. The point is this video didn't go quite as well as I hoped it would. Um, you got plenty of attention, though. The only thing she didn't do was visit a new place. So I kept going in circles, like I said. But you got plenty of attention. And since I don't expect myself to hatch an egg in the next 30 minutes... Oops, that's wrong. I guess I can just set up one of my incubators possible I'll come back to this and show what Pokemon I hatched that are Kanto related that I missed out on. We'll see. But, like I said, there's no guarantees. This is do or die. This is my Hail Mary. Guarantees I'm going to find anything else. Less so than the last video, and that video all day was pretty bad. Like I said, I caught all of the most common Pokemon. I think your team was uncommon, but considering how I haven't been able to find a single uh, Machop or Paris the entire time I've been playing. I don't think Dratini was the thing I should have worried about. So here we go. Along the highway. Because now there's a highway. My hometown has changed so much. It wasn't the town I was born in. Also, not the town... That was raised in most of my time. Oh, nice Tatuga. Can't catch it yet. But at least I found one. Golden Dragon is gone. All that's left is that Pokestop, just like Pioneer Pies, or whatever it was called. Those places do not exist. They only exist in memory. So sad. But that's just how it goes. I'd like not to be depressing, but right now, not much is happening. There is a story I could share that's Honestly, really humbling, really nice. 
and it happened today. It happened to me. It shouldn't have happened to me, but it did. And it partially has to do with Pokemon Go. So, uh, you know what? Let's just... Here we go. Let's just do it. So, the thing is that I have added some friend codes from other people in my hometown merely because they were part of a Pokemon Go group. I don't know them personally. I only really speak to them on the days that I can play Pokemon Go on Wednesdays, which usually does not happen. But how this story basically goes is that I saw a lure being used. Not an instance of lure. That's something that everyone can use for a Pokestop. And it said that the lure was being used by this um, barbecue place that um, basically is kind of like a food truck. Except I don't think it has any wheels. Oh shoot, Kabuto! Nice, 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 nice! That was a really good find. Almost missed out on it. So anyways, barbecue place, not a food truck, but close enough. They're a small business. I noticed that they were the ones that used a lure for the Pokestop. And it was their own Pokestop. It's like, wait a minute. They play Pokemon Go? So I was just kind of wandering, wandering curiously over there, just looking there. And the guy opens up the window and says, hey. I know you. You basically play Pokemon Go along with me. And it's like, oh, oh, you're one of those people? I didn't know that you basically run this food place. So, basically, to make a very, very um, bland story a little bit more short and spicy, I, he had asked me if I wanted to have some food. Oh my gosh, there's a Goomy. Okay, guys, just let me have this one. I'm not going to pretend I'm not going to catch it. I'm just going to go for it. So anyways, they asked me if I wanted some food, and I I was honest with them. It's like, I have no money. I didn't tell them this up front, but it's like I wasted 27 cents on a water at Safeway that I now regret and only had... A dollar with me. I had didn't have any money to pay for whatever they would make. And they said, no, no, it's fine. We'll make something on the house for you. We'll make you a snack. They gave me an entire giant um, container of rice and beef. That wasn't a snack. That was a meal. They didn't have to give me anything at all, but they gave me a whole meal for free. I don't know why I caught that right one, by the way. I'm just... I'm just tired, I guess. They didn't have to give me anything, and they gave me an entire meal free of charge. That is the nicest thing that someone has done for me in a long time. There was one other time when my mom was absolutely off her rocker and bought so much food that she couldn't pay for any of it. So I basically pressured her to leave and I would find a way not only to pay for the food, but to get it over to her place. There was this nice older couple that doesn't live in my town but they basically paid for everything and brought me over to my mom's apartment I even arrived there before my mom now this was when my mom was doing saying things that I was never happy with so 
once that happened, I just dropped off the food and left. Didn't say anything until later. It's like, yeah, this nice couple, thank them. We'll never get to see them ever again, but thank them that I was able to get the food to your place and get it all paid for. So that was the last time I remember someone doing something supremely that nice for me. It doesn't match up to that, but it's still pretty close. It is, oh my gosh, another giant Goldeen. I guess this one's possibly going to Pokemon Home. It was such a nice gesture. And around Christmas, it's like the most Christmas thing that I feel has happened this year for me. And I've watched a bunch of Christmas movies. But that truly was the spirit of Christmas there. And I could not be more humble and grateful. I, I told them to their face when they offered to make food. It's like, no, 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 you don't have to do that. I'll be fine. I'll get home. I'll get food. I'll make some soup or something, but they insisted. That was just so nice of them. So that was my story that took about 10 minutes of time. Please ignore all the voices happening in the backdrop. There's nothing I can do about it. At least we don't have a radio playing a song that YouTube's not going to like. Wait, is that Machop? No, it's a Lolan Shield dude. <sighs> I said Cantonian. I said Cantonian. I did this to myself. So yeah, I don't think hardly anything else is going to happen. It's very possible I might just cut part of this recording out. Just to save you guys some time. I think that Flareon and another giant Goldeen was the most you were going to get. Also, I don't know why I caught that Goldeen once again. I'm tired. I've been outside for a while. Also ate some really, really good comfort food, but now I gotta go over to my mom's and try to watch two Christmas movies and still have enough sleep to make it at like 8, 9 a.m. with a group to go Christmas shopping the next day. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's a little maddening. But, only so much I could do. Passimian, yay! I was just talking about you. I can't catch you right now. Even though I caught that Gumi. At this point, I feel like there's no rules. What I would have done if I didn't catch the bus is I would have just started utilizing Pokestops to try to find, hopefully locate Pokemon I hadn't caught yet. Being on the bus, that's not going to make a difference. Well, once these 30 minutes are up, I'm just going to catch anything. Anything and everything. Try to go for that ditto I was talking about earlier. In the first episode of 5. But yeah, I might just cut it off here. If I don't, keep watching. If I do, I will catch you in a flash. If I decide to do that. Excuse me. <sighs> so unfortunately, there's really not much else to talk about. Not much else I can really or be excited for at this moment. Again, that 
Flareon. Super, super lucky because I haven't found a single Eevee this entire day. That was both during recording and not. So. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think I'm just impatient at this point. <laughs> now, if nothing's gonna happen in the next few minutes, I'm probably just gonna catch the Tatuga. It's depending on who you ask, I already compromised this challenge in a way. I think I compromised it when I said the exception was catching extra Lord, extra small Pokemon. Depending on who you ask. At least I didn't count that Alolan Geodude. So that, that would have been way worse, right? Am I the only one who thinks that? Like I said, nothing's happening. Still got 15, less than 15 minutes. I didn't show this yet, actually, so you know what? Let's just get this out of the way. Here is my final list. I call a super small <laughs> bounce sweet. Called him her bitty sweets because I'm funny. And this is my list of every Pokemon. I guess I got lucky with Ekans to be honest. Haven't seen a single other one. So this was the first one. And the blue tops may potentially be the last. Oh my gosh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Yay! I was just talking about you. How ironic. Arbok. Arbok might be my final Pokemon. I don't know how everyone feels about that. But I'll take it. I'll happily take that. Yeah, time to catch that Tatuga, I guess. One, two, three. There we go. Easy catch. I should have used a pineapple berry. I'm just now realizing. Well, whoops. Pine Co. Also a nice find. Not Kanto related though. But still nice. Definitely one of the rarer Pokemon to see. So, in roughly 10 minutes, the challenge will be over, and I'll just catch anything else I want to. So, right now, let's solidify it. And if I'm wrong, so be it. But the odds aren't very good right now. I have to find one of those three Pokemon, Abra being the absolute rarest one. <laughs> But hey, I got a free meal because I was friends with 
a random person in Pokemon Go group. I guess anything can happen. Won't know until the very last second. Eyes peeled, eyes on the prize. Let's just see what happens. Up oh, there we go, there we go. Found a wild Eevee finally. I don't think I need to do that. Yay! Finding Eevee was the real ending. Absolutely the real ending. Yes, I'll probably catch the Dratini. Like I said, almost got the Planum. With catching enough Dragon types. It's not every day you see Dratini pop up most places you go. Oh my gosh, another Eevee? Why now? Once again, wrong berry. Why is this happening now? Well, oh gosh. Hold on. Bus moving. It's lowering my odds of catching this thing. Yeah, there we go. Now I got two out of three chance that this will not be a Flareon. Is luck with me? Is luck with me? I mean, luck is with me. I've already found these Eevees. Yay! It's that one! They poi on, obviously. I knew the name. I just didn't want to say it out loud. I guess there is a chance after all, but time is dwelling. Unless another Eevee happens to pop up and it evolves into a Jolteon. Once more. Try not to jinx it or knock on wood. I don't think I will get anything else. Even though I found a wild Kabuto. But I don't think I'll get anything else. Now go on, game. Joke with me again. Do it. Do it. Coming. Load up. I'm missing some Pokemon right now. Even if I don't catch them. Gotta keep checking the time. Did that say 23? Numbers were small. It's a little hard to see that. I already checked the crab brawler. Okay, it says 24 now. Why did I click on Bulbasaur again? It didn't register, but I tried to click on Bulbasaur again. Oh no, they're teeny. Teeny, come back. Yay, teeny. I should have caught the one that I joked about not catching. Oh, 
up another Dratini. Hi. <laughs> See, it was foolish of me to skip out on some of these Dratinis. I possibly would have gotten that dragon the cheap and by now if I hadn't done that. And we are up to a hundred Dratini candies. Triple digits. This Pokemon gonna show up because we're back on the highway. Isn't this fun? We're almost right back to where I started. Also, shouldn't be trying to catch the Charmander, sorry. Like I said, force the habit to just try to catch every single Pokemon that I see pop up on the screen. Or at least check what their stats are. Well, not stats. Uh, check to see if they're a bigger, smaller size, or if they gleam like gold or silver. Or some other color pattern that's not their normal colors. You know what I'm saying, hopefully. Regardless. Time has almost elapsed. So glad I decided to take the bus. The only other thing I would have waited on is to see if that shadow one star egg, the purple one, would have hatched into a Cubone or not. And if it didn't, I would have been out of luck. Okay, someone sent me a message. I'm going to choose to ignore that right now because I'm... I'm not exactly the best person to communicate with sometimes. Being myself down again. But whatever. It's only three more minutes and then the challenge will officially be over. Yeah, of course that wasn't gonna register. So can we see what raids are going on? Oh my gosh, it was a Porygon. Whatever. I still got more Pokemon. I still got plenty more Pokemon than I would have gotten if I waited for that raid. Guaranteed. Flareon, two Eevees, one of which evolved into Vaporeon. Another Ekans. That I evolved into Arbok. Good stuff. I kind of wanted to see more Pokemon pop up. Zubat being a common one, but... Honestly... This worked. This worked out well. A minute left. Maybe this challenge could have been a little bit more entertaining had there been more Pokemon around. But not giving myself as much time. I don't know, you you let me know how I could have um improved this. But I think it's about time for my outro. I'll do the Wii to beat one. Thanks for joining me for this bout, but it is time for me to log out. Just remember, no matter the challenge or the feat, as long as you never give in and never give up, there is no challenge you can't beat. I will see you on the battlefield. This has been Wii to Play, and I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later. This stupid thing popped up as soon as I stopped the camera. We're counting it. We're counting it. That's the last Pokemon. That's the last one.